everyone. Um, I have some Remember When design team projects to show you. And the first project I'm going to show you is, um, is my mind's eye. It's our team challenge and we got, I got my mind's eye indie chic um, paper line and I decided to use um, uh, a picture of my nephew who is also my godson. But um, this paper is really pretty. It's very uh, boyish. So um, let me show you what I what I did. First, I'm going to show you um, this the little um, kind of like gift item. We're we're supposed to make a 12 by 12 and at least one gift item. And what I did is I used the Tim Holtz. Um, it came out this year. The Tim Holtz. Uh, uh, in the bag die and it's actually really really cute um, so I die cut it out on craft paper and then I um, I distressed it with uh, walnut stain this stamp is part of the um, indie chic um, or the my mind's eye uh, collection and it has this um, set. So I use this border on it and I use the tatter florals and the gadget gears. Really this one is actually the movers and shapers um, gadget gear. And um, um, I just layered it and then used one of the brads. It came in the um, in this Brad embellishment set. So I used a Brad and then this was part of the little uh, um, embellishment sets, the die cut sets or tag set. And then this also was um, the flag set little embellishment. So I got quite a bit of stuff um, in my kit. And um, so this is Nutmeg History Garland and it's just a uh, like a banner type thing and so I used it all the way around the bag and I used the stamp all around the bag as well and then inside I made three little cards kind of like note cards uh, with the design paper and this is some more of the um, Tim Holtz uh, gadget gears and the uh, flowers and I these I believe are part of the mover and shapers um, uh, set and then I just left the inside blank. This one is Sweet Memories and I used the Just Hanging Out um, stamp from the stamp set and one of the brads. So Sweet Memories Just Hanging Out Together and it's blank in the inside. And then this one, I used the Tattered Floral dye here and I used Broken China to color it. I, I die cut it out on white cardstock and then I used um, the brads here and then some of the um, um, uh, die cut pieces tag pieces that I got and then some more of the banner and then left the inside blank so it's a little like bag full of note cards with note cards in it so I thought that was really cute um, next is um, what I, the second thing I made was the 12 by 12 layout and it is of a picture of my godson who is also my nephew and I'm just gonna pick up my camera really quickly so it can pan out um, so that there it is full version um, I think my nephew is in ninth grade there and now he's in um, 12 he's gonna be in 12th grade so he's 17 years old and let me put my camera down just to give you guys a description of the layout. Um, so here, this border here, I, I, I did it from, from top to bottom. I used the, uh, I used the Tim Holtz um, on the edge die. And I just uh, took the piece, it was, uh, I think it was like four inches by 12. And I uh, layered it on top of the main 12 by 12 piece. 
and then I took some design paper and distressed the edges and layered this piece on it and then um, used some of the brads and this was a piece of, uh, of embellishment that came in my kit and then down here in this corner I used one of the little um, pieces that came and here again says my boy um, Hayden my godson is a sweet handsome boy who I love with all my heart and then I used the mini mover and shapers uh, jalopy Tim Holtz jalopy die and all of the flowers and um, all the flowers and um, gears are of course Tim Holtz dies um, here I just layered I layered this on top of another piece of um, tag and then use this what a boy here and then use lots of the um, brad embellishments. So I just layered a bunch of uh, tattered florals and gears together. Um, and then there were some flower embellishments as well from the kit, like this one and this one that I just kind of layered all on the bottom. And then um, the final piece here is I use the Umbrella Man. Um, just in the same paper that I used the gears. So I thought it came out really, really sweet and nice. Um, great picture of my nephew. And um, the paper, it just, you know, seemed more boyish than girlish. So I thought I'd use my nephew. Um, so up next, I did um, a white ribbon, a ri white ribbon challenge, which um, I was the only one that got this paper line and had to design for it and it is um, on the sunny side my mind's eye sorry for all the glare and stuff I, I haven't got my lighting right in my new place so um, I, I and I need to get the video shoot but this is the paper line these are the papers that were in there and oh it's so out of my element you guys know this is probably way too bright of paper for me but I had to do something with it um, so let me show you what I, I did with it um, I kind of did these these this one tag in a hurry just because I've been moving and I haven't had time to like actually sit down and do things but um, this I made uh, I made this tag and let's see there we go let's get it to so it's really simple and it was <laughs> uh, I, I think it turned out okay but that's a tag I made and I used a lot of the uh, punch out um, embellishments that came in the kit. And the background is um, is barn uh, barn door and walnut stain distress ink. And this is a um, Sizzix flower, accordion flower. And the number of that is six five seven zero nine three. Um, so I just layered some flowers, and this is, um, you know, those uh, bubble, to make bubbles, that's what this is, the bu bubble wand, I guess you'd call it, and these are supposed to be bubbles, and up here too, and, and I used some um, foam thickers on top of the pennants, and used a border, and then placed the bird at the top there. So, I don't feel like it's my greatest work, but, um, but yeah, there's that. And then I used, I made a little, um, what I'm calling the Summer Reward Book. And I made it out using um, the Tim Holtz uh, Matchbooks uh, die, which is really kind of cool. Um, I used the smaller one, and I decided to make it into like a reward book, like um, during the summer to get your kids to get your kids to do their chores or to be good, um, you can create this little summer reward book where they um, get a ticket for every good deed. And so the matchbook opens. I use the tiny attacher down here. It opens up, and I put a little thing on the that says summer reward tickets for every good deed. Reward your child with a ticket to use for ice cream, a trip to the park, or whatever their heart desires. And then inside are a bunch of tickets and the tickets um, were die cut it out using um, of course Tim Holtz um, uh, ticket strip and I stamped it using um, where did my little stamp set go um, I don't know where my stamp set 
ones. Oh, here it is. Um, I use I use the Tim Holtz uh, at the movies stamp set, and I use this 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 ticket stamp to, on a strip of uh, cardstock, and um, and so there's a ton of tickets. And you could write, give them a ticket or you can write on the back, you know, you could even write on the back to say what each ticket's for and they can turn it in whenever they want. Um, so, I, um, there's two sets of tickets, uh, spots for tickets, and I uh, stapled down with a tiny attacher this, this set and then this set and then this set just goes kind of, kind of in the middle there. But... Um, so yeah, let's see, and then I just kind of layered it back and forth until it closed here. So I thought that was a cute idea, and so this closes back up. The little letters I popped up, and I popped up the little ice cream um, that was part of the punch outs. Um, I popped up the letters on this side so they'd be even with the letters on this side, and the letters are Cosmo Cricket uh, Tiny Type in red. So that is my little, two little gift items that you can make, that I made. And then I made this uh, 12 by 12. And let me pick up my camera so you could see. Uh, let's see if I can get it to, oops. Oh, that's too dark, sorry. Um, so it was a really bright, 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 bright paper that I was um, really struggling with, but I, I think I came up with a really cute layout. Um, so it's it's a girl in her big wheel, and that's me um, with I with on a big wheel. I just remember being young uh, as a little child, always on a big wheel or a tricycle or some type of bike, and would ride around the neighborhood as I got older. So, um, let me just show you, or t um, tell you what I did. So the letters are all um, from the wordplay, and I love this alpha set. It's the Tim Holtz uh, wordplay um, alpha set, and I love it. It's huge and expensive, but it is an awesome die to have. Um, I glossy accent a lot. Um, I, I glossy accent the letters and. Um, and this, this punch out, um, I glossy accent the sun, uh, these clouds that you see at the top are all, um, I had a really old Sizzix die and then I used broken china on the outside and then I used my broken china, um, uh, distress pen to do the dotted lines there. So I really love that color, broken china. Um, I used a lot of the punch outs. Um, I just layered some of the design paper and some cardstock, and I glossy accent the bird. And um, there I am on my tricycle. This is a punch out, and then the pinwheels were punch outs as well. And I um, didn't glossy accent the whole, all of the all of the pinwheel, I just glossy accent some of it and then left it um, the regular paper just to give it some dimension and some like uh, kind of uh, blinginess to it but I only did this part and then I just used cardstock as the as the like kind of poles of the pinwheels and then um, these are all punch outs from the, the set and again I glossy accent a lot but I only glossy accent parts of, like that's all of it. This I only did the center. I did this this little dot there. Only the flower. These two dots. I glossy accent this big circle, but left the middle. This little circle in the middle, um, open. And yeah. So that is my projects for remember when. I felt I like I was a little rushed in getting them done because of the fact that. Um, I just moved and had no time to do anything and um, so I did these layouts and um, I'm hoping that everyone at Remember When likes them. 
So stay tuned for pictures and you can always visit my blog for more details. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked my projects. I'm sorry I'm so rushing and if, if the camera was jittery or too much uh, brightness. So until next time, be creative. Talk to you soon.